Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. Exciting, exciting news. The Nikon P1000. I just had to double check that I had the right name. That's the, uh, the update to the P900, but the P1000 has just been announced. It's available for pre order. Not available quite yet, but it should be available soon. But this thing's knocking it out of the park because, as amazing, as cool, as fun to shoot, as I thought the P900's 2,000 millimeter equivalent zoom was, we've got a 3,000 equivalent zoom. That's a 3,000 millimeter in 35 uh, millimeter terms, field of view, equivalent zoom. That is incredible. This is truly like having a telescope mounted on the front of your camera. And it even says here, they said something, zoom to the moon and beyond on the Nikon page. It says that right there. Telescope-like zoom power. And there's no doubt about it because when I had the P900 out, I was just tickled pink with that thing with its 2,000 mil zoom. And even though it had really, really good image stabilization, sometimes it was still hard to handhold, not as a fault of the camera, but just simply because it has such incredible reach. This thing has a 1,000 more millimeters. It's 3,000. Not only that, one of the big faults of the P900 has been addressed. It has raw. So now we've got a 3,000 millimeter equivalent zoom. And don't worry, we're not sacrificing on the wide end. This thing is a 24 to 3,000 equivalent zoom and actually you can go to 6000 if you use the uh, the dynamic fine zoom I'm not exactly sure I got to read more about that whether that's actually interpolation or if it's just zooming in on the sensor if it's just zooming in on the sensor in other words cropping the sensor not a bad feature to have and then you've got 6000 millimeters that's insane but we've got 4k UHD that's 3840 at 2160 so that's pretty cool we've still got our 3 and a, uh, 3.2 inch very angle LCD which is awesome Touchscreen, 125 times Nikkor glass. That's that 24 to 3,000 millimeter equivalent. 16 megapixel low light CMOS sensor. So that's uh, like basically everything in here is awesome. I, I think anything I wanted or would have asked for, we've got. Um, it's got uh, an HDMI port for recording, playback to an external monitor, a microphone jack for optimal sound capture, and a hot shoe for mounting even more filmmaking accessories, they say. So they say it's a marvel of optical ingenuity. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just tickled about that. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these. 3,000 millimeters. If you've never shot with the P900 and you don't know what that 2,000 is like, get into the store and try it because you're going to go, wow. And then you're going to think, oh my God, this thing's a thousand millimeters more. So I'm really stoked about this. The pre-order price is $9.99. Um, so it's actually gone up a little bit from what the P900 was. But we've got a lot more here. We've built much more versatile camera. They're coming out with a more, more well-rounded, a more fully featured camera. Something you could use for video very nicely. And something that is virtually untouched in terms of telescopic reach. This is incredible. And it's 4K. And you got all the options to, uh, you know, add on your extras for filmmaking. So I don't really mind the price. Uh, I want to throw it back to you guys. How interested are you in this camera? Does the 3,000 millimeter lens, that r extreme reach, does it tickle you as much as it does me? Are you dying to get your hands on one and try it at least? Uh, I can't wait to get one in for um, evaluation and review. Uh, I'm really interested to see how it is now that it's got raw ability because that was definitely a, a shortfall of the P900. Uh, and now we've got, you know, a smaller decent sensor, but we have the ability to shoot raw so we can manipulate it a fair bit. And we've got 4K. Uh, it just seems like a really neat offering. Very unique, actually, offering. I don't think anybody's got anything quite like this. I don't mind the price boost. Obviously, you never like to see the price go up, but we're getting an insanely long lens. We're getting 4K. We're getting a movie-making machine. So, I don't know. What do you guys feel about the price as well? Do you Is, is that a downside to you, or do you think all the features uh, justify it, which is where I'm leaning. It looks like it's fully featured and, and with this extra uh, reach, I think that price point is okay. And it's sure to come down as the longer it's out. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the camera? Are you excited about it? What's the most interesting thing to you? Um, what do you think of the price? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. I'm curious to see if you guys are as excited about the P1000 as I am. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say as always. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.